Hi, we're going to have a look at a typical problem you might uh, come across in physics where you're told simply that an object falls from a certain height and you've got to work out its final speed. Now, in this case, it's falling from a height of 5.7 metres, but that's largely irrelevant. We can apply what's going to happen here to any height. Now, one of the problems that people have when they're doing this kind of uh, problem is that they don't understand how to do this because no mass has been given. Uh, and you can see that uh, you're told in the problem you're going to use the principle of conservation of energy to calculate the final speed. Now let's just have a look at what that actually means. Effectively, the potential energy that the object has at the height will be completely converted into kinetic energy as the object falls. When the object is just about to hit the ground, that's when all the potential energy has been converted into kinetic. And we can use that by having a look at the two equations for potential energy and kinetic energy. First of all, potential energy is equal to the mass times the acceleration due to gravity times the height that it's falling from. The kinetic energy that it has at the end of its fall will be equal to half of the mass of the object times its speed squared. Now, it's the speed that we're looking for. The problem here is we don't actually have the mass. However, what we can do is make the two things equal to each other. If this potential energy here is equal to that kinetic energy there at the end, so the potential energy it has at the start, let's say it's 100 joules for the sake of argument, at the end, all that 100 joules will be completely converted into kinetic energy. So this will be 100 as well. So effectively, this number is equal to that number. So we can make the two sides equal to each other, a half mv squared equal to mgh. Now, the interesting thing here is that we have a mass on both sides of the equation. That means we can cancel them out. And we end up with a much simpler equation without the mass in it, which is a half v squared equals gh. Now, we can rearrange this equation in steps. First of all, we take over the 2 on this side, which is dividing the v squared and we move it to the other side to become a multiplication. So we now have v squared equals 2gh. In the next step, the final step in the algebra here is to get rid of the square. Now we can do that by taking the square root of both sides. The square root of v squared is just v and the square root of 2gh will be written down simply as the square root of 2gh. Now we have an equation here that we can use to finally solve the problem. So Let's put the numbers in. V will now equal 2 times 10, the acceleration due to gravity, times the 5.7, which is the height. That gives us a square root of 114, which finally gives us an answer of 10.68 metres per second. Thank you for listening.